Hi, my name is Greg, and I've always been interested in understanding how the environment works. Growing up, I spent my summers attending a nature camp just outside of Toronto. Now, fast forward 15 years, and I'm nearing the end of my PhD in environmental chemistry. My thesis focuses on measuring chemicals in the atmosphere to understand where they come from, how they react, and what consequences they have for air quality and climate. Specifically, I've spent the last five years measuring ammonia in remote environments. Ammonia is a gaseous pollutant that is emitted primarily from agricultural activities, but in remote environments, other, less conventional sources can be significant. Ammonia is important because it degrades air quality and affects climate. Furthermore, excessive ammonia deposition will acidify soil and reduce biodiversity. So the first step in understanding and ultimately mitigating any of these negative effects is to measure how much ammonia is actually present. So in the summer of 2014, I was lucky enough to spend six weeks aboard a research icebreaker cruising throughout the Canadian Arctic. During the study, I collected hundreds of air samples and analyzed them for ammonia. Now, this was a very exciting opportunity, not only because of the breathtaking scenery, but also because no one had attempted to measure ammonia in the Canadian Arctic before. And throughout the study, I consistently measured ammonia concentrations that were hundreds of times higher than what I was expecting. So where was all this ammonia coming from? Well, after some head scratching, my colleagues and I used computer simulations to pinpoint the source of the ammonia, decomposing seabird poop. Every summer, tens of millions of seabirds migrate to the Arctic to breed, and they actually generate enough feces to affect the composition of the atmosphere. But how does this cool the Arctic? Well, the ammonia they generate reacts with other gases, specifically dimethyl sulfide and water vapor, to produce microscopic particles. These tiny liquid and solid particles then grow to form clouds, which ultimately reflect sunlight and cool the Arctic. And the cooling effect is large. This poop to particle to cloud chemistry forms enough clouds to offset warming from human-related carbon dioxide by up to 50% in the summertime Arctic. So without these seabirds, the summertime Arctic would have fewer clouds and warmer temperatures. So the presence of these seabirds is very beneficial because it helps slow down a rapidly warming Arctic. However, their presence is very susceptible to climate change and industrialization, so their future is uncertain. So to summarize, my thesis has identified a crucial, albeit somewhat comical, connection between ecology and climate. Thank you.